Hey guys, Jacob here. So in this video, I'm gonna have to film from a different angle just because of how big this puzzle is. The puzzle under here is absolutely insane, but before I show it, I'm gonna uh, talk about uh, cuboids a little bit. So you've heard of the two by two by three or any two by two by N cuboids. got a two by two by six, which if it's, if N is an even number, it can shape shift. But if N's an odd number, it can't shape shift because it doesn't line up. Now, people have made two by two by 16. Gregoire Finnig made a two by two by 50 a while ago. And a while ago, I actually had a dream that I built a two by two by 100 and I thought I should bring that puzzle to life, and so I did. So under this blanket is a, a 2 by 2 by 100 It took me a little over a month to print this thing, and it weighs 20 pounds. I'm not kidding. It takes a good bit of effort to lift. It is by far the biggest and heaviest puzzle I own. And here it is next to a 3x3. Three three. Uh, this puzzle's dimensions are 250 by 250 by 270 millimeters, or 10 by 10 by 11 inches. And uh, of course I made it stickerless because there's no way I'm putting stickers on these tiny pieces. And heck, even here's the even the 23 by 23 for comparison. The 23 by 23 is less than the size of just one piece on this thing, which is crazy. So now I'm gonna do uh, some turning on this puzzle. So, the turning is good, all things considered, uh, but obviously it could be better. Uh, these inner layers turn pretty smoothly, actually. Um, if everything's as long as everything's lined up, it turns uh, pretty smoothly. And uh, when I first finished assembling this, and lubing it, uh, these layers will get stuck like crazy. But I did the I took it in and out of the checkerboard pattern earlier, just to uh, just to break in the lube, and that seems to have actually helped a lot. So I'm just I'm just gonna realign this puzzle. Now, these inner layers themselves are good, but the top and bottom layer is uh, pretty stiff. So, if you want to do a deep turn, it's actually easier to do this part first and then adjust the top layer. Now, the reason the top layer is stiff is because of the mechanism I used. On the inside of this puzzle, there is a giant 2x2. Two two, and uh, the top and bottom layers hook into that 2x2, two two, uh, acting like a 2x2x4. Two by two by uh, they've got a hook in the middle that goes down that hooks into the middle 2x2, two two, and then toward the outside there's a dovetail rail that keeps them from lifting up. Because in this case, if these pieces lift up even a couple of millimeters, then these pieces would just fall out. And that kind of segues into the next thing I'm going to cover, which is the type of mechanism I used. Now, with a hundred layers, 
you'd think this puzzle's pretty freaking complicated. Well, it's actually a lot simpler than you might think, just because uh, it's only got a hundred layers in one direction. Now, for a 2x2x two by two by in cuboid, there are two types of mechanisms you can use. There's telescopic and stacking design. An example of telescopic is on the Wit Eden 2x2x6, two by two by where the outer pieces, all the pieces that stick out, go down and hook into the center. The biggest upside of that is it allows pieces to overhang and not slide out, but the downside is it's a lot more complicated and difficult to design and print. Now, the stacking design is when you just stack the same shape over and over. That makes it a lot simpler to build, but the biggest downside is if a piece overhangs, then if it's only anchored to its neighboring part, then it's just going to slide out. But with this being basically cubic, uh, I was actually able to get away with that because the pieces don't overhang that much. Now, I, I know I said the top and bottom layers of this thing are pretty stiff, but the inner 2x2 two two is actually pretty smooth and easy to turn, given that everything's aligned. So, I'm going to show that kind of turn. Now, this puzzle uses the stacking design, obviously. So, when you do turns, this happens, where they just fall down. But, if you kind of hold them, then that won't. Really happen as much. It's still annoying though. And yeah, obviously uh, it shape shifts too, as you can see. Now this puzzle is extremely awkward to turn and rotate, just because of how heavy it is. Uh, <laughs> now, you can actually, uh, not sure how well you can see it on camera, but right here, uh, you can actually see um, the, uh, stacking design. Ugh, man. Sorry, this is extremely awkward. But the majority of the pieces has a groove on one side and a notch on the other side, and it's just that same shape stacked a whole bunch of times. So... And another thing I did was I hollowed out a lot of the big pieces, including these pieces. You probably noticed when it was mid-turn that these pieces have big holes in them. That was just me removing unnecessary material to both reduce weight and friction, because that's also a lot less contact surface. And of course, the pieces of the inner 2x2x4 two by two by frame are absolutely massive, but I hollowed out all those pieces too. So, if it weren't for that, this puzzle would probably weigh like 50 plus pounds. So, yeah, I'm about uh, running out of things to say, so I'm just going to kind of do a cool uh, stair step pattern with the of the puzzle. Uh, 
Uh, and if there's any other, uh, if there's any other um, videos or anything you'd want me to do with this puzzle, uh, please let me know in the comments. Uh, but yeah, this is why I haven't been. Uh, this is why I haven't uploaded in a month because I have just been working on this. So. Uh, don't be alarmed if I go a while without uploading. It just means I'm working on a big, exciting new puzzle. Because these puzzles need to be made. And if no one else is going to make them, then I will. And with that said, um, I'm posting this the night before Thanksgiving, so... If you're watching this as it comes out, happy Thanksgiving, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.